Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Just concern the truth. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make the assumption, we misunderstand, we take it personally, and we react by sending emotional poison with our word. This creates a whole big drama for nothing. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 65, Nasdaq's down 153, S&Ps are off 18. Gold, gold contract flat, $2,039.10 an ounce. Gold in an ABC structure up, folks, with a price projection of 2154. Now that's a one to one, and gold loves doing more than a one to one. That like really likes doing a one to 1.382 or one to 1.50. Silver, silver's flat out here, 25 dollars 11 cents. Light sweet crew down 26 cents, trading 80 dollars 45 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note up eight ticks, trading 116.16. The 30-year up 28 at 134 flat, and king dollar, king dollar. Uh, up 285 ticks, trading 101,871. The euro is at 109, the yen's at 131. The British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, take a look at the spy out here. Um, you know, you, you're backing down a bit, it's light volume. This thing still wants to basically hit this high that's generated out here on the February 2nd. February 2nd is 418. Um, yesterday we did volume of, 40, of 66 million. You come in at to 113 million, which is last Friday. Last Friday is a big day, folks, because, you know, the volume came out of nowhere, but the volume is volume, man. There's buyers there. So now what you're doing is you're coming into that level, and the contraction is pretty dramatic coming into this level. You know, yes, granted, it's a holiday week, but the bottom line is that it is what it is, and volume is what it is. When you come down with light volume, and then you have a higher swing point with volume, the probability is that that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to get up into that level somehow, some way. I, I know it sounds bizarre, but, well, it sounds bizarre to me, <laughs> but it is, it, it wants to go there. We look at the, the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Same type of setup. Now, the Qs, this is what's going to be cool with the Qs today. The Qs, the number to keep your eye on, is the 315.25. Because what that would be, you're coming down into the bar that was out here on the 27th, and that bar has 75 million. And the top of that bar is 315.25. And if you close above that, the 25, that would be a rejection of lower price with lighter volume. Gold, gold contract, that broke topside yesterday, has the volume behind the move. You know, you can expect, you know, a little more sideways movement. It, take, it takes quite a bit, you know, for what gold actually did. Because gold was in a 10-day consolidation. You can see the volume exploded yesterday, 233,000 contracts. If we do the GLD, see, we just rolled on this contract, too. If we, you can't just look at this other one. Uh, with the B point, but you, if you go to the GLD, if you're looking out of these ABCs work, you can check it out, check your work out, and then you go to the GLD and see if, in fact, you got it, and you did get it, okay? And the reason that you got it is this. Now, check this out. So this is important to understand about ABC structures on the way up, on the way down, um, on, and that you can't have volume expanding all the way up or expanding all the way down. You can see this big volume that when we, when we first took out the swing point, that, that volume that came in, that was March 17th, the pot of gold, right? You had 24 million shares traded. Now watch what happens. Then you came under it. And so when you come, the, the way I, I look at Mark is you came under it. And so what that means is that that means that, okay, you came under it with light volume, 18 million. Well, that's where it rewinds itself again. Then you go higher again, and you go higher with 11 million. So your benchmark is the 11 million. It's not going to be the 24 million. And then yesterday, we took it out with 13 million, taking out the 11 million. And in the context, so that's how you get your ABC structure up. We take a look at the silver market out here. What do we have with silver? 
Silver's a little bit different setup, but the bottom line is that it always seems to be a different setup. Silver has taken out the top of its range. And, you know, the top of the range, that's saying that silver now is going to make its way up to basically the 30, 29 to $30 area. Let me put this on a generic chart. You're going to see the next swing point, I believe, is... Yeah, right there. All right, well, that's only 27. 27, well, yeah, the next swing point is 27.13. Um, your top of this whole range is $30, though. So we'll see how it handles 27.13. But I suspect, let me just look at this for a second. I think it already broke. Yeah, it did. It already broke it with conviction. This is on the way to $30. See, the, it, it, broke, it broke the whole trend line, and it broke it with conviction. You had wide price spread. You had volume behind the move. And it's going to be all about this. You know, we take a look at this. You know, the 10-year. Look at this 10-year, man. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's 3.2 today. And we were at 4 like three weeks ago. That's 8 tenths of 1% on something that only started at 4. That's, um, that's, that's unbelievable. But it is what it is. And when you take a look at it technically, um, bottom line, this thing looks to me that you're going to blow away this high and you'll probably get a huge ABC structure up. We got 1.3 con million contracts today. Oh, let's see how this, this, this is going to be cool. Oh, come, come. There we go. So we need, we need, okay, so at 117.01, and this is why we hit 116.30 today. So 117.01. You need two million contracts. Now, we, do, we don't want to go after this probably tomorrow. You want to go after this probably uh, next Monday or Tuesday. If you got that, you got an ABC structure up, and you're talking about game on and rates. And no matter what the Fed's doing, they'll, they, they can control the overnight rate. They don't control the 10-year. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrial's down 161. Nasdaq's up 18. S&P's are up, uh, no. Dow's up 61. Nasdaq's down 161. S&P's down 19. Commodities and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report <laughs>